LMGs have dropped in ranking heavily since the introduction of MG42. However, use PKM. Disclaimer. This list is ranked by grouping similar weapons. You may disagree with the ordering of the weapons, but these are the only weapons you need in God Mobile Season 7. PKM has consistent and infinite 285 millisecond stamp kill, even if we hit leg shots, with easy AF recall and tight bullet spread, allowing us to maintain amazing accuracy at range. While making enemy flinch 50% higher due to the bullet impact, we can use it as a spray and pray weapon with 200 mag and disable, or we can swap it for FMJ for crazy wall banks, especially in Nuketown. Otherwise, I prefer the bullet spread focused build to beam at range. The only cons are LMG cons, like slower mobility, slower ADS speed, and slower weapon swap times, which forces us to play passive. But one trick you can use is to slide and ADS frequently, which helps us be more ready to take gunfights. UL736. It is used the same utility as PKM, offering 291 milliseconds potential time to kill hitting one shot on the chest area, which is quite consistent. Recall is beamy and we can beam it similar to PKM, with tight bullet spread especially during the initial spray. It is a bit weaker when it comes to bullet impact making enemy flinch by 35% and max size is lower at 60 bullets, needing us to manage our ammo consumption. However, reload speed is faster which helps. It features LMG cons like slower ADS speed, slower ADS movement, slower weapon swap times, etc. Why we have to play passive to make the best out of it. And now is a good time to leave a like and comment something nice to help support the video. If you want faster fire rate, then S36 can be used, which makes missing shots less punishing and helps especially at range where accuracy issues can arise due to enemy hitbox being smaller. S36 has 240 milliseconds potential time to kill to 53 meters, hitting two shots around the chest area, which is doable. And recall isn't as smooth as UL or PKM, which might give problems when spraying sometimes and you will need to practice beaming with it. You can use a foregrip, but it's more of a BR focused build instead. Bullet impact is same as yield 736 at 35% and 60 ammo count is low considering the faster fire rate. And you can use 110 mag if necessary. It features LMG cons like slower ADS speed and slower ADS movement while you need to play S36 passive. Overall, PKM is what I prefer as it is the most consistent weapon for dominating at range with one of the tightest bullet spread in the game if you stack attachments. Slow reload speed isn't a problem because you can just double tap to respawn. <laughs> However, UL736 or S36 can be used depending on your preference. FFAR has fallen in rankings, not because it is bad, but because we have BP-50 now, which takes over its utility. FFAR is a versatile assault rifle, leaning more towards being aggressive. Offering 330 millisecond stamp to kill to 52 meters, with 198 millisecond stamp to kill in close range. It has the second fastest fire rate among assault rifles, making missing shots less punishing. With SMG like mobility, which is on the faster side compared to assault rifle standards, and the super fast reload cancel helps immensely when playing aggressive. And instead of using gung ho, we can use quick fix without any problems. And we can use FFAR as a BP 50 alternative. Honorable mention M13. M13 had the utility of dominating long range gunfights. Watch this analysis to know more. However, now M13 has under unique utility, LMG wall penetration on flex AR, which helps immensely on maps like Standoff and Nuketown, where using passive LMGs becomes harder due to the faster pace of the gameplay, and the slower mobility becomes a liability, which is where M13 gets the opportunity to shine, offering 340 ms against stamped kill till 47 meters, which is a good effective range, with the third fastest fire rate among assault rifles, pretty much on par with FFAR, making missing shots less punishing, and mobility is on par with other flex ARs like DRH for example, with very fast reload cancel and 60 bullets in Mac, which helps in a one versus multiple situation when playing aggressive. Recall is kind of simple to beam even at range, and bullet spread is good for charging mid-range gunfights, and you can still use the long range build. Watch this analysis to know more. PDW would get a mention, but I have something better. PW is great even in Grand Meta, especially on mid-range maps like Nuketown. Thanks to Team Signals for assisting with this top 10 list. And for more analysis and best gunsmith builds, you should join our Discord server. Aggressive SMGs are kind of useless. Emotional damage! As you can just use BB50 instead. <laughs> 
and watch this analysis to know more. Most people would recommend Fennec. However, for Ranked, I recommend CX-9, as it is much more user-friendly, and we don't need to waste an attachment slot on Red Dot, as the base iron sights are very usable, and we get improved iron sights with Battle Pass skin. I also recommend QQ-10. Get it? QQ-9 with the 10mm mag? QQ-10 holds up well in current meta, and it can challenge anything while playing aggressive. And it offers a bit of versatility, due to getting 237 milliseconds time to kill till 24 meters. Honorable Mention, OTS-9. It is similar to QQ-10 with minor difference. I will have an in-depth analysis on top 5 aggressive SMGs this season, why not going too much into details right now. Flex ARs are good all-rounders, allowing us to strike a balance between versatility and aggressive playstyle. Use Type 19 or AK117 if you want more versatility. Otherwise, Peacekeeper or Groza if you tend to play more aggressive. Type 19 isn't a bad weapon. It is ranked lower to group with similar weapons. It offers 52 meters of 320 milliseconds time to kill, with 240 milliseconds time to kill in close range. Similarly, AK117 offers 50 meters of 390 milliseconds time to kill, with 234 milliseconds potential time to kill till 33 meters, aiming around the chest area. Recall is where these weapons differ, as Type 19 offers pattern based recall, while AK-107 is kind of randomized which can give accuracy issues when beaming at range, while you can use pinpoint perk to help stabilize your aim. And bullet spread with both weapons are good for challenging range fights. Other stats are similar, offering faster fire rate similar to S36 for example, with improved mobility and AK-107 has lower ADS speed, but it has a special feature which allows us to use slower ADS builds without a problem. Watch this analysis to know more. And we get 48 bullets in mag with fast reload cancel on type 19, while AK-117 is a bit slower. Overall, both these weapons are similar, and most people will default to type 19. But 117 can also be used, especially if you tend to play aggressive more. By the way, help support me by donating so I can work on more such analysis in the future. Remember PDW and I said I have something better? It is Groza with this build, but I prefer the laser instead to maintain accuracy at range. Groza is an aggressive assault rifle, similar to Type 19, but focuses more on rushing and playing aggressive. It offers 32 meters of effective range with same fire rate as Type 19, but mobility is vastly improved. With SMG like ADS movement, with 40 bullets in mag and fast reload cancel for playing aggressive. Recall is similar to HVK pattern, but the left right shift happens much quicker and you can beam it with some practice. Rosa is being slept upon if you ask me. Similarly, we have Peacekeeper, offering improved effective range with negligible tactical difference, but the advantage is we get low flinch, helping us keep our aim stable under enemy fire. And the super fast reload cancel allows us to use quick fix without any issues. We maintain SMG like ADS speed with 3.7 meters per second AD ADS movement which is on the faster side, and you can use Skulker to improve it further. Recall is pattern based and you will need to learn the pattern to somewhat beam with it. However, one difference is the iron sights. Rosa has much better iron sights and Peacekeeper will require a battle pass skin minimum if you want to enjoy using it. Why I won't be surprised if people default to using Rosa, as they are similar weapons with minor differences. And both are used for the aggressive assault rifle playstyle. By the way, I put a lot of effort into this analysis, so do me a favor and watch this video till the end. I love you guys. Mwah. Three shot meta are going strong, mounting up resistance against PP50 abuse. Yarich is common, offering 21 meters of 210 milliseconds time to kill, hitting one shot around the chest area, which is pretty consistent, and then 52 meters of effective range, allowing us to play it versatile. Fire rate is a con, as missing shots become punishing, and we will lose gunfires to faster firing weapons like BP-50 for example, and mobility is pretty standard, while 25 ammo count is on the lower side, but the super fast reload cancel makes up for it. Recall is among the easiest, and even beginners can beam with it at range with tight bullet spread helping us when we take range fights. However, I personally prefer EM2, as we can hit leg shots and still get 3 shot in close range with 224 milliseconds stamped kill, which makes it big enough friendly and more forgiving to use. Recall is into challenging, similar difficulty as Switchblade, and we can beam it with some practice. And EM2 has improved mobility compared to DRH, but kind of negligible, with bigger max size which helps when playing aggressive, and the reload cancels on the slower side, while use gung-ho, and the low flinch ensures are 
our aim will be stable under enemy fire. EM to feature slower fire rate gone as well and we have to work on being accurate to dominate other weapons in circulation. You can also try AK-47, offering pretty consistent 220 millisecond stamina kill in close range with improved mobility. And AD's movement is similar to Type 19, allowing AK-47 to be more versatile. We get larger max size at 50 which allows us to 1 versus 5 without reloading, while the reload cancel isn't a problem, and I'd use quick fix on my loadout. Recall is on the easy side, and we can very effortlessly beam it with tight bullet spread for challenging range fights, with only con being the fire rate, as you will need to be accurate to do well with it. This analysis is becoming long, why I will cover top 5 weapons in part 2. In the meantime, watch how the season 7 balance changes impacted the meta and I will see you on the next video. Bye.